Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're unboxing Birchbox for October 2020 but it's not a box, it's a bag <laughs> and a very ugly bag. <laughs> Um, so yeah, Birchbox is a £10 monthly subscription beauty box. You get five products in that box each month and it costs you £2.95 for postage and packaging. I got a three month prepaid subscription plan but I managed to get a 50% off code which is why I signed back up to Birchbox. I used to be signed up ages ago and for such a long time and then I just got a bit fed up with it all and cancelled my subscription but when I saw this for 50% off it was just yeah it was too good to turn down which is why I signed back up. I've popped on to the website a few days ago I was really busy and I thought I don't want to get billed for another three months so I just switched it over to monthly and I thought I'll deal with it later but then I got an email through saying, thank you for switching your plan. We're going to be billing you straight away for next month's box. I'm like, hmm, it's not the first of the month. I don't want it. I want to cancel. <laughs> um, I've gone on today to try and cancel. And now I can't because it's got this thing pending, this payment pending. So I've emailed them and asked them to cancel my subscription. So there we go. Um, the good things though with Birchbox are, even though the samples are small, they're often often like new things or things you don't always see in other beauty boxes and they can be sort of like, yeah, nice things to try, but I'm just, I aren't bothered with it anymore. I've had enough. Uh, at the beginning of the month, they had a list of all the products which were in this month's edit and you there was quite a few of them and depending on your beauty profile would depend on which one you get given and they're meant to try and match it up to your profile whether they actually do or not who knows but I just wasn't that overwhelmed there's just there was nothing that was really grabbing me as being amazing and it was at that moment I decided I'm cancelling and this to be fair I've not I've not loved the boxes I've had recently either so that being said let us get on this is the bag I just I don't like it and the reason I think it's ugly I don't mind the message on the front it's a very important message but I hate this pink color of canvas and the red like in the contrast I just think it's so ugly and I think the, the um it looks like it used to be a cream or a white tote that um has run in the wash it, to me it looks like these handles have um run and just dyed the bag it's just it's disgusting <laughs> I'm sorry if you like it it's just my opinion um <laughs> Oh my god, I'm moaning, I'm on a roll today, rant, rant, rant. Okay, let us get in, there's um, the card in here, the products that are inside, it doesn't feel very heavy, Um, it's a bit bent, and the edit is self-love is the best kind of love, which of course is a message on the front of the bag. So I've tied all that in, which is good, uh, and inside it says, hello birch boxes, this month we are excited to be transforming your October bag, sorry, your October birch box into a stylish tote bag. I'm really not sure we can call this stylish, but it is a tote bag. Um, with It's decorated with a very important reminder that self-love is the best kind of love. True, you have to love yourself before you can love anyone else and you need to make time out for yourself as well. Um, and what's more, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and throughout the month we'll be sharing ways that you can join us in championing early detection and supporting those undergoing cancer treatment. So of course, this is a really, really important message and I applaud Birchbox for bringing this to our attention. I would just say that I know it's very, very difficult for lots of you to access your GP services at the moment. And, but you really must, if you notice anything unusual, any strange lumps or bumps, you must go to your GP and you must insist on being seen. And then, um, yeah it's so important that we just do this i'm going to pop a little split screen up just now with some information about how we meant to check your breasts and things and i'll pop a link down below as well to a reputable site or probably an nhs site or one of the macmillan sites or something about how to check your breasts properly and then if there's any sort of support in there if you need some extra information then hopefully you can go there as a resource as a resource um okay so let us get on with the unbagging. I'm gonna just stick my hand in and pull something out. Okay, so the first thing we have is by Anatomicals, and we do tend to get this quite a lot um, in Birchbox actually as well. And this is the Shower of Love Bergamot Cream Body Cleanser. Okay, so I haven't had this before, and normally the best thing about these is the packaging. They usually have little quirky things on the back. And yeah, this one's the same. It just says, the shower of love. Feel free to embrace your inner Celine whilst belting out a chorus or two. It empowers 
everyone washing with it to take control of their health by checking their bodies for lumps, bumps and growths that might not feel right. Um, but your friends and family are fortunate enough to have to listen to your singing might just want to invest in a set of earplugs. Okay, so hidden in that message is, of course, a very important thing about checking. And in the shower is a perfect time to do it because it's a little bit slippier and things. So you can just definitely be checking those boobs, ladies and men for any unusual lumps, bumps. Just something that doesn't feel right. Um, let's sniff. I'm, I mean, I'll use this, but I'm never that bothered. I don't think I'm... I don't love their products, but I don't hate them either. Smells nice. Um, and what does it say? So, the thing with Birchbox, they're dead sneaky because they'll put the prices on, but they only ever give you the prices for a full size, so you never actually know how much your product is worth. Um, so, this is an ex a Birchbox exclusive. The RRP is £2.00. And it just says, this Birchbox exclusive bergamot cream body cleanser soothes and cares for your skin whilst lifting away dirt and impurities. Suitable for sensitive skin, the firming cream formula leaves skin feeling clean and soft, perfect for your morning shower ritual. Yeah, it just says here, check the back of the packaging for a special description, um, especially for Birchbox subscribers. So, yeah, so that's nice enough. Um, I'm going to pop on across the bottom of the screen, the cruelty-free and vegan status for all the products. So bunny rabbit means it's cruelty-free, a leaf means it's vegan friendly. So I hope you find that useful. So yeah, that is the first item. And there we go. Next thing is, okay, so this is by Balance Me and it is a Beauty Sleep Hyaluronic Mist 99.9% .9 natural. It just says a targeted treatment mist high in relaxing bioactives to promote a good night's sleep and hydrate your neck and chest whilst you catch up on your Z's. Spray on to cleanse skin before bedtime and it's 10 mils. Again, Balance Me does turn up a lot in beauty boxes. Not say there. And um, so the full size would be £20. And it just says, great skin starts with a great night's sleep. This mist, which is packed with hyaluronic acid, chamomile, lavender and CBD oil, works to hydrate, plump and smooth your neck and chest and lull you into a, a peaceful, uninterrupted slumber. And do you know what Birchbox are going to tell us in their little, little hint box at the bottom about hyaluronic acid, <laughs> like they do every single month? <gasps> Wow, <laughs> one gram of hyaluronic acid can hold up to six, yep, six litres of water. It's moist, moisture boosting magic. <laughs> we know, you tell us all the time. Um, so I think this is one that you... Oh, Jesus, it's a bit of a directed spray. Okay, so I've just done that onto my hands. And I think you meant to rub your hands together and then rub it onto your, your chest and neck area. It smells quite strong and yeah, it might work. It might work. I'm never sure if these things really do get you to sleep or not, but anything's worth a try, especially if you have poor sleep like I do. Um, next thing is from Anna Sui in this eye makeup remover. And it looks like one of the ones that you have to shake, like the oil ones where you've got the two parts and you give it a shake. And these are usually very, very good, this style of cleanser. Uh, um, removing like waterproof mascara and that type of thing like um and like your liquid liners that are waterproof so any sort of waterproof makeup is good liquid lipstick if you struggle to get that off use your eye makeup remover and it'll help lift it off when you've been doing swatches on the back of your hands that's what I tend to use them for now do that I've got a primer by Anna Sui which I have been enjoying and I've had that a while it's probably due to get binned <laughs> But um, it is a nice primer. So this is the second product I think I've had now by them. So the full size would be £12. And it just says, infused with Anna Sui's tea rose scent, this double layered eye makeup remover smoothly sweeps away all traces of makeup without irritating the delicate skin around your eye. Packed with olive fruit oil and raspberry seed, seed extract, it glides smoothly onto skin and removes even waterproof mascara without leaving a heavy residue. Please see the product page at Birchbox um, for full ingredients and it just says share the bottle well before I use pour a little onto a reusable cotton pad and then gently sweep away makeup um I bet you they haven't given us reusable cotton wool pads but we have had some little like is it glove ones in the past as well in either this box or another box um so it says it's rose let me see how rose it is I'll pop a little bit on the back of my hand 
just to give it a little rosy sniff test. It's a, I'd say it's like a, a medium rose fragrance. It is gosh, it's quite rosy. So if you don't like rose, you won't like this. Lucy and Claire, you're gonna hate this. <laughs> um, yeah, I tend to double cleanse now more than anything, which gets off my eye makeup. But I do use these for swatches, so they are handy just to have in, and it's a cool like little size. Next thing is ah, so this is what we got to choose between, and it is Kiss and Smink, the Every Tulum. It's we got to choose one of two shades. So when you're signed up to Birchbox, each month you'll get an email through, usually about the middle towards the last third of the month and often it's just choose between two shades um it might be a lipstick or a blusher and it'll say do you like this one or that one and what is very good they show you what it looks like on three different skin tones so it, they are trying to to you know be a bit more inclusive i think like that um and then yes yeah, so i've chosen this one so we'll have a look at it in a second and it just says the everything I'm not sure what that means oh the everything Title them and I'm I'm confused. Um, so it says say goodbye to fiddly makeup brushes <laughs> and hello to effortless creamy color. This multi-purpose cream stick can be used on cheeks, lips, lids, well anywhere really. Um, best applied with fingers. Pat this pink shade with golden shimmer onto the high points of your face for a no fuss flush of color that flatters all complexions. Um, and did you know that smink means makeup in Swedish? And so the brand is actually called, let's kiss and make up. So yeah, kiss and smink. So it's kiss and make. I quite like that actually. That's good. Um, hmm. Okay. This is the shade. So it says use your fingers. So I'm not going to dry it on. So let's have a look. It feels very creamy. Oh, okay. I'm not. Oh gosh, it looks really orange peach and gold although actually it blends down quite nice it might be more like a, a highlighter really or if you want to look quite dewy i think it might be a bit too pale for lips i don't think i'd like it on my eyes it's quite greasy so maybe if you're doing some cream makeup or if you're just having like um with no base but you just want like a little bit of I don't know, glow, then you might use it, but I'll show you, I'll do a swatch just so you can see what I mean, like the, the base, the colour shade. It just looks so glowy. It's hard to see, but it's very peach. It's more peach than pink for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, it's reflective. I don't think I'm going to use it. I need to start thinking when I get to this stage about putting these things in my collection because if I'm already thinking now I'm not going to use it, then you know, I maybe need to try it first on my face. So I might, I might start getting a basket of things I'm unsure about and then try them. And if I like them, they can go in. If I don't, I'll just pass them on to friends and family. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, next thing. <laughs> oh, the last thing. It just seems not much, doesn't it? Oh, and this is by Amica. And we've had things by this brand before. Um, Bust Your Brass Cool Blonde Shampoo. And it is 20 mil, so enough maybe for one go, maybe two, but a good one. Um, the full size would be 18 pounds. It just says, bust your brass, cool blonde shampoo. Stop brassiness in its tracks with this ultraviolet shampoo. It keeps blonde hair bright thanks to ultraviolet pigments that counteract harsh brassy turns. It's packed with wild cherry bark extract to bring out color and shine and keratin to restore moisture elasticity and luster is safe for color treated brazilian treated and keratin treated hair it leaves your locks manageable smooth and silky and it just says all of amica's nutrient packed formulas are free from sulfates parabens and flaflates <laughs> i can never say it um so yeah it's it's okay it'd be interesting if anybody with brunette or brown or red hair has received one of these so if you've got blonde hair and you've got one let me know but if you've got a different color hair and that's on your profile and you got one of these do let me know as well i'd be really interested to to find out 
Um, I've used purple toning shampoos before and they are quite good. I've just literally had the hair done a couple of days ago, so I'm really happy with the colour. I've gone a little bit warmer, so I maybe won't use these that often because I don't want it to be so cool and ashy. I just want a bit more warmth in my, you know, in my hair. But yeah, we'll give it a go. It's fine, but again, it's so small. You can use it once, maybe twice. Right, well, let's have a look and recap over what we have. So we've got the Anatomicals um, Body Cleanser, which it looks fine. It smells quite nice. The Balance Me Hyaluronic Mist. Now this, we have we did get a Hyaluronic Face Mist before, a Plumping Mist. It's not that. This one is for your neck and your chest. Um, Yeah, I'm not really that bothered. The eye makeup remover, I suppose it's handy if we ever get to go away. And it gives you, lets you try it. But to be honest, if you want a decent eye makeup remover that's under two pounds, I would strongly recommend the Nivea one. Let me get you it. Oh, I tell you all the time. I don't use them that much now, as I say, but get that. It's a big bottle for two quid. And it's just the same, the ones that you shake and mix up and they're amazing. So that'd be my preference. No point spending money on something that already works. Um, the Kiss and Smink, it's not bad. And to be fair, I think it's probably the nicest product in the box. And even that, I'm not that bothered about it. And then the, um, the purple shampoo, which is enough to give you a go, I suppose, and see what you think of it. But <laughs> I'm so pleased I've unsubscribed. I just think it's a bit crap, if I'm honest. Right, well, that is it. Oh, and the um, really disgusting bag with the, with a very important message. Um, I don't know what I was going to use my empties in it, but I don't think I even want it for my empties. I'm not sure what I'll do with it. I'll, um, I'll think. <laughs> right, so I hope you've enjoyed my very negative unboxing. <laughs> I'm going to go and babysit my gorgeous baby grandson now for a few hours. So take care, guys. If you've enjoyed it, do give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and please subscribe. And don't forget that my face mask glam glow giveaway runs out today so if you haven't entered that go find that video and then um, have a little look and leave a comment and some tips and then um, you could be entered so i'll see you later guys take care bye for now check those boobs